Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. I am here in St. Thomas today on the Haven site side of St. Thomas. This is pretty much where everybody docks except for Royal Caribbean and their sister brand. <laughs> kind of Royal Caribbean and Celebrity and some other places when they have a uh, bit too many ships. And today we're going to go on an adventure. When I worked on ships back in the day, every single time you were in St. Thomas, you'd go to Kmart. Some of you are watching this and saying, wait, wait, Kmart's still a thing? The U.S. Virgin Islands is the highest state with numbers of Kmarts. There are five Kmarts across St. Thomas, St. Croix, and the other saints that are U.S. Virgin Islands. I'm sorry, I'm not a geography nut. Those are the two that cruise ships go to. So we are going to take a walk to Kmart, and we're going to see what it's like in 2023 in a Kmart. So leaving from the cruise ship on the carnival celebration right now, going to leave out through the Haven site mall, walk down the street, see what's there along the way. And I'm going to take you on a journey to Kmart in 2023. This is like going to Blockbuster when Netflix exists. Why the hell does this exist? Well, because in its prime, this was the only thing on the island that had everything. So it still does. And no one else wants to build anything. So let's go Kmart. Blue light special. So what you're gonna wanna do is as you leave Haven site, you're gonna wanna take a left and walk down the sidewalk. I'll give you some landmarks in a minute we might be walking by, but yes, you're leaving the security area, but yeah, you're still in the US. You don't really have to worry here. So you just go down this way. You see it? And then once you hit the sidewalk, you're good to go. Keep going to the left. Anything cool around the way, I'll point out because I don't want you to miss it. Now, some people may ask, how long is this walk going to take? I'm fat. We're going to take some stops along the way. If you were to just book it from the cruise ship, probably about a 15 minute walk. You can see there's even some crew members in their Kmart bags going back to work. So, uh, yeah, it's not that bad. Not that far. You're just taking a left right when you get out of the Haven site shopping complex. So as you are walking to Kmart, you will see a Chinese restaurant and you will actually see a subway and you'll see something here that says Lucky's and Sweet Fit. Lucky's and Sweet Fit used to be one of the last radio shacks in the world, but even that is only in Aruba now. Uh, so uh, let's continue on. You're gonna pass the Sky Ride. Keep heading that way to Kmart. As I said earlier, Wendy's is a good stop on the way. Be aware that this Wendy's has run even worse than the Wendy's in your town. Uh, this is all based on island time. Biden inflation has hit the Virgin Islands very hard. This large drink was like $4. I don't really know, like their value size drink is like $2 and that's American dollars. Be aware that this Wendy's is ridiculously more expensive, it's just, poorly run but it's it's what's on the island and i'm not gonna lie that's a preview of what you're about to see in kmart um it's got good air conditioning though for now as of uh i like to date it because it didn't always have good air conditioning as of uh late september 2023 but we've got this intersection right here this is where you make the turn to go to the far side of the street to get to Kmart. Because if you go to the left up here, you're just gonna get to downtown St. Thomas and that's no fun. All that's there is jewelry shopping. There's no Kmart in downtown St. Thomas. So um, again, we're, we're in the Wendy's and when you get to this intersection right here, you wanna be on the right side of the street because that's what's gonna continue down the street towards the Kmart, believe it or not. Last time I was there, there was also a Sprint store, which you're like, what? And we passed a Payless on the way too. This is like the island of zombie stores. Who knows? So to give you a little bit more bearings, this is the Wendy's, which is on the Haven site side of the street. And here is the intersection. If you do take a left at this intersection right here, or go straight, you're headed towards downtown. But if you head this way, you're headed towards Kmart. So let's continue our journey to Kmart and we've got some uh, sketchier local grocery stores here but when I say that Kmart is the gold standard here I generally do mean that Kmart is the gold standard here and right from that intersection 
if you really look close. Oh, oh. Hey, look, it's a Kmart. Pixelated right now, but we'll be up close soon. On the way to Kmart, you're gonna pass a gas station. Yes, that is US dollars. Yes, that is gallons. I drive electric, so I don't know if that's low or high, but uh, yeah, that's the gas prices in the US Virgin Islands. Uh, not super cheap. Again, it's in down this street. You do it straight, it's about a 15, maybe 20 minute walk from the cruise ship. But we're uh, leisurely meandering, so it's gonna take us about half hour to get there. You can take a taxi there if you expect to get more things at Kmart. But uh, last time I was here, it was a full service Kmart and had everything. And it's kind of funny, since you're in the US, look, you have like tax preparers and everything like that. Quite amusing overall. Continuing to Kmart. And after a 28 minute, very, very leisurely walk from the ship, we've made it to Kmart. Well, at the back of Kmart, this is their receiving bay. You'll notice the containers don't say Kmart on them because Kmart doesn't really exist anymore. They just kind of bought the brand. Kmart's kind of like the radio shack of things nowadays. You can kind of buy the brand from the creditors for almost nothing and run your own Kmart if you think there's value in the brand. But uh, yeah, it's also a really great museum in St. Thomas, but we'll talk about that. For those of you that were like, there's no way there's a Kmart, look. They're now hiring. Three easy ways to apply. Oh my God, jobs.kmart.com is still a thing. Uh, open from seven till nine. Yeah, this is a legitimate, good, honest to goodness, Kmart. They even have the Kmart brand sodas and everything like that. But yeah, it even smells like a Kmart, if, if you don't know what that means. I mean, it really does smell like a Kmart. This is a time capsule to the 90s, maybe early 2000s, but it really, really, really feels like a time capsule. Oh, we're gonna, this is the clothing section. We'll take a look at the food section downstairs here. Let's, let's jump downstairs. Made in the U.S. Virgin Islands. They got duty-free liquor. That's not something I've seen at a Kmart before. Plus, all the chairs you can want. Now, everything has to be shipped over here, so you're gonna be slightly higher priced than Kmart's were back in the day. So you see, got chairs, shirts, pool floats. I mean, it's a time capsule. It's truly a time capsule. I remember electronics being down here. Um, which I don't know what year those electronics are gonna be. But I know some of you are watching this and you're like, there's no way it's 2023. Um, here, wait, I think I, I think I have a way to prove it. <laughs> I mean, I'm carrying the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which has the extra super zoom camera. Hold on, like, I'm, I'm like, how can I actually prove what year it is? Because this seems insane. Uh, this would even, oh okay, yeah, here we go. Okay, we'll block the serial number. There we go. Couldn't have that if it wasn't 2023. But I mean, this, this Kmart is literally like a time capsule to the 90s. It's a museum from 40 years ago, 45 years ago. You wanna show your kids what the world was like 45 years ago? Did this is, Look at the security camera. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What the actual fuck? Um, oh, look. I mean, and we even have the Sears tools here. Come on. Come on. You got the Craftsman tools here. You can't ask for funnier than that. I mean, this is a Kmart. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a time machine. It's amazing, like, why does this exist? I don't know. Uh, what, what year is it? You could literally send a time traveler here 
and they, they wouldn't know this wasn't the 90s. I think that's, oh wait, oh, hold on, hold on. The white people messed this up. Sorry, white people, white people. This is called tennis, not pick pickleball. Goddamn white people, messing up my time machine. Um, let's see what else we got here. Dog food, I mean, it even smells like a nasty pet store from back in the day. I expect it to be like fish tanks and birds, but I don't think there are. I don't think there's fish tanks and birds, but uh, it's, it's absurd. The 90s have called and uh, they want their Kmart back. Nothing here looks new. Nothing here looks modern. I'm just, yeah, this is like a, a history museum that you can go to. The only thing that's not historical here are the prices. And you know, Bidenflation has, uh, has really taken over uh, Kmart and St. Thomas dramatically because the price of fuel and getting things here has gone up pretty dramatically. It's not as bad. Boo! 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 You're supposed to flash the camera. Get that right next time. No. So you can see that is Kmart. We'll take a look upstairs too. And look on my way up the stairs, there's a sign that says they still have blue light specials. Uh, don't, I don't actually see the blue lights. Let's take a quick walk around. But yeah. I mean, the lady said, you know, this kind of looks like the 70s, not the 90s. Local residents said this, this store hasn't really changed since the 70s. I mean, you walk around and you're like, good God, what is going on here? Oh, they do have a cold Heineken beer refrigerator. I'm not gonna lie. That's probably happening. Not to take back on the boat, but uh, to drink out on the street, because I don't think they've open container laws in, uh, well, <laughs> laws preventing open container. But even a six pack of Heineken, $14 at a local Kmart. And uh, no comments, but they do lock up the Hennessy. They don't lock up everything else. So I guess Hennessy is what's uh, generally stolen here. Oh, we've got a whole bunch. I mean, this is like, it's everything. Like this is it's a little more, a little more updated than the rest because I don't think a lot of these brands existed back in the day. Well, where is it? Oh, look, they even have our favorite. I say that with much sarcasm, Bud Light. We've got a Karib Shandy. A bunch of different wines and stuff, you know. We're, we're, get, we're getting into the 21st century right now. You can even buy a cheap Virgin Island monkey if you wanted to. Or a, a Rustaman. Or a snow globe. So you can buy it here. And, or you buy some playing cards. Or some rum. It's, it's a li little more relevant to uh, the day and age we're in now, but it's really kind of crazy. Uh, there's not a lot of actual, I mean, we saw the Craftsman stuff downstairs, but there's not a lot of actual Kmart brands here anymore overall. You know, this might be like a Kmart brand. I don't know Kmart well enough to know if Top Care was ever a Kmart brand, but they do have uh, everything. This is one of the busiest stores on the entire island of St. Thomas, especially for locals and for cruise ship passengers. But um, that's Kmart in St. Thomas. I wanna go ahead and see if I can get a beer, see what else is in this shopping center, and we'll wrap it up. But I hope you kind of enjoyed this, uh, this little tour of a bustling and busy Kmart. What's funny is last time I was here, this was a Sprint store, but I guess, uh, Mergers happen, and now it's T-Mobile.
which is uh, the cell phone company I'm recording this on and uploading it with right now. So hey, T-Mobile. And right across the street, there's a McDonald's. So we're gonna go over to McDonald's and see uh, if they've got anything unique to St. Thomas. So we stopped by McDonald's. Interestingly, yeah, McDonald's doesn't do straws either because uh, dead turtles are a fun thing, I guess. Um, I'm just making a joke, but they do eat turtle soup here. So, you know, just be aware. Um, but for a drink, small fry, and some nuggets in a McDonald's that's, you know, more updated than the Kmart. It was six bucks, but hey, at least there's no sales tax. Uh, I got one more stop, potentially two more stops, we'll see on the way back to the ship, but we're as far as we're gonna go out. Now we're gonna come back, and there's a brewery called Leatherback Brewery, which is where we may end this, but um, stay tuned. We'll see what else we find on our trip to Kmart. You know, the one thing that, uh, that they don't have here is a KFC, and you wonder why? Well, that's because all the chickens are still alive. You see those little black ones back there? Those, I think, are the uh, brothers of the chicken nuggets I just ate over at McDonald's. Now we're back in the port area, but I've got one more stop for you. If your ship is not like mine and doesn't have its own craft brewery on board, right across from the port, there is Leatherback Brewing, which has local craft beer. So you just go right across the port, and then Leather leather back local craft beer i'm gonna stop over there so i am in leather back right now you can see they're pouring the beers right there they're making the beers right there this uh, brewery exists both uh here and in saint croix it does not exist in saint john earlier i forgot one of the islands uh but you see they got a whole bunch of different beers i have already had the bush life which is not bush light it's bush life uh, which is made with sorrel, a local fruit here. Uh, and that's my bush life. I saw number 16, Oktoberfest. That'll be my next beer, but I got one. They have a seltzer called Soka. And if you mix that Soka seltzer with, uh, they put in some local rum, you get to this drink right here, which is a, their Soka cocktail. It's got some Soka seltzer, some local rum, and uh, some grenadine. I'm gonna, and look. Look, it's a straw. If you've been following along today, straws are a, are a hard ask in, in this uh, area. But let's, let, me, let me taste it. This is their uh, Soka ginger and lime, plus some, uh, not rum, some vodka, local mutiny vodka. Oh, that drink like pink drank. Pink, right, am I right? That drink's like pink drink, pink drank. It doesn't taste like there's alcohol in it. It drinks, it's, it's pink drank. So uh, yeah, They're definitely uh, come get, come get your, your pink drank here at Leatherback. So I am uh, still here at Leather Shark, uh, Leatherback, oh God. A little bit later, uh, we have just arranged the drunk train. The drunk train is the train of drunk people that are going to be going back to the cruise ship before it sails. But this is a, I don't know, this is a, a Soka surprise. Uh, it's the Soka, Soka uh, hard seltzer with uh, extra, extra, oh, I got hiccups. Extra blue curacao built in. But uh, I got to go back and I got to shoot the Street Eats videos. Plus, I mean, being left in St. Thomas is not the worst thing in the world because it's technically the U.S., but I'm just... I don't want to be left in St. Thomas. So yeah, we're gonna, we're, we're literally Haven Sight, hold on, let me show you. Haven Sight and the cruise ship. There's the ladies I'm drinking with here. Bunch of school teachers, nice ladies. Oh, let's, how far away is the cruise ship? There's Leatherback Brewing. There's, wait, there's cruise ship. So, 245 for a 330 all aboard. That should be good. Definitely, you know, I, I hate to say this. Leatherback has better beer than they make. Yes, they brew on board that cruise ship. Uh, yes, you can see what it is by the funnel. I don't want to tell you what it is, uh, but they brew 
on board that cruise ship. Uh, Leatherback's beer is better. And if you don't have a drink package, it's actually cheaper here to drink than on the cruise ship. So I'm gonna stay with the ladies and everyone make sure they get back. We'll close this up as we're getting near the ship. Hey, look, and as I have a uh, another drink, this is the Bush Viper. This has their, uh, uh, this has plantation rum, pineapple juice, and their bush lager. Uh, I, they do also have food here. Now I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna have Street Eats. If you haven't checked that series yet, definitely check out Street Eats, but I'm here with some other passengers, making sure they all make the drunk bus. Got some pretzels and cheese. I know I said this is the last time you'd see me here, but these beers are better than the beers on the ship. I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, they have beer cocktails, they got all that, and you're not going to beat the prices. Uh, definitely uh, Leatherback Brewery. The place to pee on your way back to the ship. Just make it sure, make it sure, make sure you get back to the ship on time. Don't worry, this will not be the last drinking video you get from me on board this sailing. So I am back at Haven site, just steps. Uh, Steps from Leatherback. Oh, look, it's right there. Haven Sight. Oh, Leatherback. It's like an eye test. Look, I had a bit too much to drink at Leatherback. And uh, they don't have open container policies in St. Thomas. And I look really, really red. I don't know if I got sunburned today. What the hell's going on there? I, I, I guess, I guess I'll find out. This is Richard from No Pants Province. Well, something that started with Kmart. Went to Wendy's, then went to Kmart, checked out a T-Mobile store, went to McDonald's, and then got far, far too drunk at that brewery right behind me before going back to Haven site and getting on that ship right behind me. Again, this is Richard from No Pants Profits. God, I don't know if it's just drunkness or I'm actually really red in the face in this video, reminding you that much like me, when you wear no pants and you go to Kmart Museum in St. Thomas there's only one thing you got left to lose and you know what that is my seltzer says it's your shirt see you around got any questions leave them in the comments below have a great one check out the Kmart Museum next time you're in St. Thomas along with Leatherback Brewing because back turtle I don't know leather, Leatherback Brewing because it's really good and when you wear no pants, the only thing you got left to lose is your shirt. Let me get back to the ship before it sails in like 20 minutes. Bye! You know what? post credit scene, it might be the alcohol talking, but there's this great little booth right here. I actually found them advertised on Facebook that uh, makes uh, popcorn and uh, frozen... Mm. Strawberry or frozen normal lemonade. Nice guys, local guys. No bullshit company, nothing big like that. I got me some popcorn, which yes, you can bring on the ship. Yeah, this, this, this may just be drunk Richard talking. And I got me a frozen strawberry lemonade, because guess what? Even in September, it's still hot as shit out here in St. Thomas. Again, in the post post credit scene, this is Richard from No Pants Profit saying, Enjoy your strawberry lemonade. Get your uh, popcorn. And this is Richard reminding you that when you wear no pants, like me, oh, there's a belly showing. There's only one thing you got left to lose, and you know what that is? That's your shirt. Cheers with my first, third, fourth, I don't even know, non-alcoholic beverage of the day. Enjoy your time in St. Thomas.